Welcome. Um, in this video, I would like to show you these two pieces. At first, you might think, well, they look pretty nice. Beautiful quartz clusters. Nice crystals. But these two are not natural. These are examples of hydrothermally grown quartz made in China. So these were made by people in a lab. Before I'm going to explain you how that works, I'm going to show you some natural pieces of quartz. Quartz is a rather, it, it's a rather large group of minerals and it includes things like rock crystal. This is a piece of natural rock crystal. This is a double terminated one. And you probably know this. This is the best known form of quartz. Um, amethyst is also quartz. It's one of those beautiful phantoms, can you see? Amethyst. That's the purple variety. Um, rose quartz, of course, the pink. And rose quartz. Can even grow crystals. We don't see this very often, but it is possible. It's hard to see in the video, but it is really pink. Um, agate is also quartz. Jasper is a quartz. Um, even flint is a quartz. So many members of the quartz family and sometimes quartz can grow phantoms like you saw in that amethyst and this one this is a chloride phantom or these kind of inclusions you can see. Now back to these two. As I said, this is not natural. This is grown in a lab and they call it hydrothermally grown because what they do is they have a large container in, we, in which they put um, a fluid and that fluid contains silicium dioxide that is what quartz is made of so it's a it's a quartz solution and in this quartz solution they put a seed crystal a seed crystal is um, a small piece of rock crystal often a damaged piece and this is the seed crystal around which the rest is going to grow they close the container and they Choose the right pressure, the right temperature, and this will grow. And I can imagine that you think, well, how do I see the difference between natural quartz and this? I'm going to show you. This is the green one. And they call this a chloride quartz, chloride phantom quartz, all fancy names. And you can buy it in green, but also in yellow, blue, purple, yellow with blue. Um, well, I've seen many beautiful colors, but not really. Um, as you can see, these phantoms look a bit odd and the colour is, and that's so difficult to show you, 
and the colour is very bright green type of colour that makes you think, oh right, is this real? And something else that will probably you'll probably notice is the way this has grown. You've got the large crystals growing out of a base and the base has these tiny sharp crystals and these are really sharp like a razor or a needle I'm looking for the really tiny ones to show you can you see over here it's thin as needles and this is grown all around can you see the thin ones they're really sharp. They tend to stick in your fingers. Pretty painful. And that's something that's very common in this lab grown quartz. Um, can you see these? Tiny hair like crystals this one has got the same and you can always also see hopefully sometimes they've even got lines underneath that show where the grip was they stood on um i wanted to show you this let me see can you see this this is white, chalky stuff that forms a base. Um, yeah, this is the best place to see it. So I've got a crystal that has broken off here. Can you see that? It's white. Chalky, I don't know what it is. Clay like. That's the base. Something else you can see is um the way the crystals have grown. They've got the they've got the same shape as real crystals, but they don't look very neat. Not very neat and tidy, not very smooth. You can see they are a bit you see, they're not smooth. They don't have decent growth lines. You know, quartz has um, growth lines horizontally. I will show you in another piece in a moment. These look a bit scruffy. This is, you can see it. I hope growth lines. This is natural. You can see it's got lines. That's the way the crystal grows. And these don't really have that. They some of them do a bit, but not very good. Can you see that? It looks like um, ice. Ice cubes. Not like crystal. And the hardness test doesn't do the trick because um, they are a quartz after all because they were made of quartz. So they are they have a similar hardness to real quartz. But what I really like about these is the sound they make. They, they sound like glass. Hollow sound. Not like crystal. It's like what you do when you have your glass of tea. Can you hear that? 
it's very different than you try to do this to a natural piece. So, pay attention because um, these are being sold on eBay and the well-known Chinese sites um, and people don't know so people think they've got a real quartz cluster and they sell it as a real quartz cluster but this is what you have to look out for they're pretty expensive I've seen them for well 80 quid and that's nice if it is a real cluster but not for well I call them fake and actually that's not the right name someone told me well it's not fake it's lab grown and there is a difference between fake and lab grown well oh right I can see that difference but anyhow it's not natural quartz it's lab grown so know what you buy thank you for watching